Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIS technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Google Apps Script to bulk find and replace images in your Google Docs. Now this is useful especially if your school has recently gone through a change of logo or you have several documents that you need to update the letterhead of those documents. Just imagine that you've been using Google Apps for several years now and you've you've got hundreds, perhaps thousands of documents that need to be updated um, and to do this manually would take forever. So here's how you can automate that process. Uh, recently, uh, Bruce McPherson published a post on his website uh, that illustrates a technique using a Google Doc template to find and replace images in your document. So I'm going to walk you through this example and kind of show you some of the parameters that you have to be uh, watchful of and, um, and then show you the result. So in my Google Drive, I have a folder with four documents. Again, this could be much many more documents. I'm not sure of the, in terms of the limit with the Google Apps Script runtime, how many documents you could run this script on, um, but I imagine it's quite a fair many of documents. But say, for example, this is our old logo of a school. In fact, this is actually a true example because this is where I work, and this was our old logo, and we've been celebrating our 50-year anniversary and have a new logo to sort of uh, represent that uh, sort of landmark. Um, but of course, after this, we'll probably be switching to something else. So I'm thinking ahead now of how am I going to quickly be able to change these logos um, without having to go through and change documents, every document manually. So the first thing I did was I created a template. So you'll see here, I'm gonna call this one new letterhead. And it's just a simple table uh, in the first cell, this is the old letterhead. And then in this cell, this is the one that should replace it. All right, that's all you have to do. And, and make sure this is actually located in the body of the document, not inside the header, okay? So put this, put this one into the body. Um, and again, I have four documents that look just like this one. So when I execute the script, this image will re be replaced by this one. So you probably already noticed there was a, an app script file. So again, this isn't bound to any specific document. This is a standalone Google app script. And I want to point out some of the key characteristics of this. Um, the first thing um, you're going to have to modify is, if you, if you take it directly from his, his website, is you're going to have to modify the template document. You're going to need the ID of that document. So in this case, you can see how this ends w, it ends in W8LA. So that is my document right here. That is the ID of the template. So you can copy and replace that one. And then under documents, uh, you can simply put in the, uh, the folder name where all of those documents live. Now there's probably multiple ways to iterate this using this script. I'm choosing to put all of the documents I want to work with in one folder just to keep it simple. So all of those documents live in a folder called Image Replacer. So you can see right here, this is Image Replacer. And then I also need to put this down one more time, a little bit further down in the code. Uh, you'll see it right here uh, where it says like dot get piles of files. And again, I'm putting the name of that folder where all of those files are located right here. And then uh, before I actually run it, you want to be sure that you've added the C useful library. And on the blog post, there is uh, all you simply do is copy it. It's on here somewhere. Here it is. You just highlight this, copy it, and then in your app script, you would paste it in there, hit select, and then choose the, the latest version. All right, so enough talk. Uh, let's get straight to the action. I'm actually going to uh, run this script, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe I'm going to leave this document open. 
since this updates kind of in real time. I'm going to leave that one open. I'll bring this over. And I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And of course, like any Google Apps script, uh, the first time you do it, you'll have to authorize it uh, to work. I've already done that. So I'm simply going to run the image swapper. And we're going to see what happens. And as I learn more, hopefully I can kind of get a good feel for how many documents uh, the script could process. Um, there you go. So document one has been, I guess everyone's been taken care of. That's pretty quickly. That wasn't a lot of docs to work with, though. But if I go into all these documents, you're going to see that they all have the new uh, logo in the letterhead. So. There you have it. Um, this is, a, I think, a, a great way uh, to sort of update things quickly. Your communications person will love you for showing them this. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.